Picture this, a young child moving from one foster home to another, never quite knowing where they'll end up next. The uncertainty of tomorrow is a constant companion, a relentless shadow that never quite fades. The child is tossed on the unpredictable seas of the foster care system, navigating through the choppy waters of constant change and instability. Imagine the emotional turmoil that comes with each transition, the constant upheaval, the abrupt goodbyes, the new surroundings and the unfamiliar faces, each move a new adjustment, each foster home a new world to adapt to. The child is always in a state of flux, never quite able to plant roots or establish a sense of belonging. What does this uncertainty do to a child's psyche? It's like being on a roller coaster ride that never ends. The highs and lows come with each new home, each new family, the hope of finding a stable, loving environment, followed by the fear of yet another change. This emotional whirlwind can leave scars that are unseen but deeply felt. Every meal, every bedtime, every school day becomes a question mark. The basic routines that most children take for granted become a source of anxiety. The main reason to go to school? not for the joy of learning or the thrill of making friends, but for the promise of a meal, a momentary respite from the gnawing uncertainty. Through all this, the child learns to be resilient. They become adept at adapting, skilled at surviving. They develop a toughness that belies their tender years. They learn to withstand the storm, to keep going even when the path is unclear and the destination unknown. Year after year, these experiences forge an indomitable spirit even in the face of adversity. The early years may be marked by turmoil and uncertainty, but they are also a testament to the child's resilience and strength. They are a story of survival, a narrative of overcoming, and a journey towards healing and understanding. As if navigating the labyrinth of foster care wasn't challenging enough, school brought its own set of trials. The school bell didn't just signal the start of academic lessons, but also a shift from one struggle to another. The classrooms, hallways and playgrounds, which should have been sanctuaries of learning, camaraderie and innocent fun, often morphed into arenas of survival. For many, school is a place to expand their minds, make friends and grow, but for some, it served a more basic purpose. It was a reliable source of meals, a lifeline in a world marked by uncertainty. The primary motivation to attend school wasn't always the pursuit of knowledge, but rather the assurance of food. This highlights the stark reality faced by kids in precarious situations where even the most fundamental needs are not guaranteed. This struggle for normalcy extended beyond just securing meals. Personal challenges cast long shadows over academic focus and accomplishments. The burden of dealing with tumultuous circumstances at home often spilled over into school life, creating a domino effect. The distraction from academics was palpable, with grades and performance becoming casualties of a war fought on multiple fronts. Social interactions, too, bore the brunt of these struggles. The fear of exposing the physical evidence of abuse led to retreating from activities, to self-imposed isolation. This was a time when camaraderie should have been flourishing, but instead, the need to hide bruises led to missed opportunities and the erosion of trust in others. Yet amidst this turmoil, there was a glimmer of resilience, a spark of defiance, the rejection of victimhood and the unwavering determination to keep going, to keep fighting, shone through. This struggle for normalcy was not just a battle for survival, but also a testament to the indomitable spirit that refuses to be extinguished, no matter how harsh the winds of adversity blow. Yet, there was an unwavering determination to keep going, to keep fighting. Home should be a place of safety and warmth, but for some, it can be a battleground. Life in a home where violence is the norm, where every day is an exercise in survival, can have a profound impact on a child's development. This isn't a story of fiction, but a heart-wrenching reality for many, a reality that leaves deep emotional and physical scars. Imagine being a child, unable to protect yourself, enduring physical abuse at the hands of someone who should be your protector. The physical pain is just the tip of the iceberg, beneath which lies a world of emotional turmoil, fear, and anxiety. The need to hide the evidence of this abuse adds another layer of stress. You're in sixth or seventh grade, a time when you should be worrying about homework and friendships, not hiding bruises from your friends and teachers. Failing gym class becomes a small price to pay to keep your secret hidden, to maintain the illusion of normalcy. 
This constant fear and stress can take a toll on your self-esteem, your trust in others, and your ability to form healthy relationships. The world becomes a battlefield where you're always on guard, always ready for the next attack. Your home, which should have been your fortress, becomes the very place you fear the most. But here's the thing about the human spirit, it's incredibly resilient. Despite the trauma, despite the pain and the fear, it finds a way to endure, to survive. It doesn't mean the journey is easy or the memories any less painful, but it does mean that you're stronger than you think. In the face of adversity, you learn to adapt. You learn to protect yourself, to build walls around your heart, but you also learn about your own resilience, your own strength. You learn that you can endure, that you can survive, and that you can begin to heal. But even in the face of such trials, the spirit refused to break. Trauma leaves scars, some visible, others hidden deep within the psyche. These marks of past pain, though often concealed, can profoundly shape our lives. The aftermath of trauma is a complex landscape, a tangle of memories, emotions, and symptoms that can be challenging to navigate. The effects of such experiences are not always immediate. For some, they may lie dormant, emerging years later when certain triggers or life events stir them from their slumber. It's not uncommon for survivors of trauma to grapple with a sense of confusion, a struggle to understand why these remnants of the past continue to echo in their present. Complex post-traumatic stress disorder, or CPTSD, is a condition often born from prolonged repeated trauma. It's more than just the sum of its symptoms. It's a testament to a survivor's journey, a narrative etched in the annals of their memory. Symptoms can include flashbacks, emotional numbness, difficulty in relationships, a sense of impending doom, and even physical manifestations like chronic pain or insomnia. Survivors may find themselves wrestling with these symptoms, trying to make sense of their experiences and their aftermath. The world may seem like a labyrinth of triggers, each turn a potential reminder of past traumas. Yet it's important to remember that while these experiences shape us, they do not define us. Understanding and acceptance are the first steps on the journey towards healing. Acknowledging the impact of these experiences, giving them a name, in this case, CPTSD, can be a powerful step towards reclaiming control. It's a process, sometimes a long one, fraught with challenges and setbacks, but also filled with moments of insight, growth, and self-discovery. And yet in this turmoil, there was a glimmer of hope, a spark of resilience. It's this resilience that fuels the journey of healing, the quest for understanding and the pursuit of a life not defined by past traumas, but enriched by the strength and wisdom gained from overcoming them. Healing is not a destination, but a journey, often long and winding. It's a path that begins with the courageous act of recognizing the pain and trauma that one has endured. This step, though daunting, is the first stride towards understanding and healing. It's about acknowledging the impact of past experiences, even when they're painful and difficult to revisit. In this journey, seeking help is an essential milestone. It's about reaching out, opening up, and allowing others to aid in the healing process. Whether it's a trusted friend, a supportive community, or a professional counselor, these connections serve as beacons of light, guiding us through our darkest moments. Understanding complex post-traumatic stress disorder, or CPTSD, is another significant step in this journey. By learning about this condition, we begin to understand how prolonged, repeated trauma can affect our minds and bodies. We learn that our reactions and coping mechanisms are not signs of weakness, but rather normal responses to abnormal circumstances. The journey of healing and understanding is ongoing. It's about learning to navigate the ebbs and flows of life, armed with newfound knowledge and tools. It's about learning to recognize triggers, manage symptoms, and most importantly, show kindness and compassion to ourselves. But this healing journey is also about more than just recovery. It's about transformation and growth. It's about turning past pains into a source of strength, using our experiences to educate others and fostering a deeper understanding of mental health. Remember, healing doesn't mean the damage never existed. It means the damage no longer controls our lives. It's about reclaiming our power, our voice, and our right to live a life that's not defined by our past. Through it all, one thing remained clear. The strength to endure, to heal, and to grow was always within.